So there's definitely a, a significant oversight and a variety of different mechanisms uh, that exist to ultimately ensure the safety of the medication. It usually happens behind the scenes, but Canadians are now trying to learn more about how Health Canada monitors new medicines and biologics for side effects. Greg Steos and Frank Morante have decades of experience between them, bringing new medical products to market through clinical trials. They say Health Canada's system has redundancies built in to ensure no safety issues are missed. I like to use this analogy even when I'm, I'm teaching uh, with regards to quality. Quality is like Swiss cheese, right? And so what you do is you have various different layers of Swiss cheese lined up one against each other. And so, you know, you can envision that there might be, you know, one thing gets through one slice of Swiss cheese, but there's other you know, another slice of Swiss cheese is going to be able to catch it when it gets through. Steos and Morante say several different parties are responsible for reporting adverse reactions. Manufacturers are required to track how their new medications or vaccines affect people, but local health authorities are also required to report when someone says they've had a bad reaction to a new drug, vaccine, or treatment. Vaccines in particular are watched more carefully given that they're generally given to healthy Canadians. But even if you don't trust Health Canada, Morante and Steos say Canada's friends and allies have a vested interest in the vaccine and are monitoring and sharing information as well. The concept of cooperativity nationally and internationally, uh, it's unprecedented. We, we took an un, un, literally an unknown disease virus and created a vaccine and are putting that vaccine into the arms of people in the course of a year. And I think that's extraordinary. And I think everybody should should be proud of, of that accomplishment. Adverse reactions are always tracked by Health Canada, but during the pandemic, it's taken an extra step, creating a website dedicated to tracking adverse reactions to COVID vaccines, everything ranging from soreness at the injection site to death. The most recent data available shows 24 deaths reported out of 3.7 million vaccines, with 13 not related to a vaccine and 11 still under investigation. Steo says that information has always been available, but not always easy to find for the general public. It's been a lot more targeted so that the key information around the medications that have been approved are easier to find uh, versus the, the normal database where you'd have to go through and um, search it yourself. Now, we also asked about vaccine misinformation, and Steos emphasized the importance of checking your sources. As an example, Steos told me about the time one of his friends changed a Wikipedia page, but the page wasn't corrected until two weeks later. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.